This is a super unique book. Um, there is no other math book out there that I know of that's written like this one. So first let me emphasize that despite the title, All the Mathematics You Miss But Need to Know for Graduate School, um, it's for everyone. This is a math book for everyone. I feel like if you're studying math, if you're a math major, you will benefit greatly from this book, even if you're not going to grad school. And the reason is, this little book, which is a soft cover unfortunately, covers so many topics and it's readable. Like you can lay in bed with this book and you can read it and you can say, oh wow, okay, so that's what linear algebra is about. Oh, so that what, that's what topology is. Oh, this is, this is what abstract algebra is about. Oh, complex analysis, now I know what that is, right? You can pick up this book and you can be exposed to all kinds of math. Now it's not a perfect book, but Mr. Thomas Garrity did an awesome job. The title is a bit cheesy, but you know what? If it gets him to sell books, then more props to him because this book is totally worth getting. Let me show you how awesome this book is. This is the absolutely amazing table of contents. I love the contents of this book. Look at the beginning, it's amazing. Brief summaries of topics. So he talks about the summaries of all of these different areas of math, which is really nice because you, you can't get that. You can probably watch a video or something on YouTube, but then you have to watch the whole video. Maybe it's like 10 minutes or something here. You just read a couple paragraphs and then you have the main idea from a professional mathematician, right? So you have something from a really reliable source. That's one of the big things about books versus like, you know, the internet. Uh, you know, this is a solid, reliable source of solid mathematics. There's a section on linear algebra. Here's more topics and I'll talk as I, as I go through it. Uh, one of the things that made me feel kind of bad after getting this book is the title. It said, all of the math you need to know before you go to graduate school. I thought, I don't know all this math. I'm going to fail. Um, it's okay. I, I honestly don't know of anyone who n knew this much math before going to grad school personally. I mean, maybe some of my friends did, but I mean, this is a lot of math. There is a lot of math uh, in, in this book. For example, geometry. I never took a course uh, on geometry ever in my life. And it just keeps going. Complex analysis. It talks about countability. Talks about algebra, so he means abstract algebra by that. Lebesgue integration, Fourier analysis, I mean, just so much content. Of course, differential equations, some combinatorics and probability, and then he finishes with algorithms, and then he talks about equivalence relations, I guess, in an appendix. I love the preface of the book. I mean, it's worth buying just for the preface. I mean, it's really well written. Math is exciting. He talks about how math here is really one discipline, all of the various disciplines of math are really just intertwined today. He talks about how since World War II, all of the various disciplines, you know, feed off each other. And then he talks about how math is hard. Uh, it is. You know, math is hard for everyone. I, I always say this in my video, and it's so cool to have, like, you know, a professional mathematician, you know, Thomas Garrity, who wrote this amazing book, uh, agree with me. It's just like, wow, what, what a great guy, what a great book. Uh, and again, I'll just go briefly here, but you should, you should get this book. Uh, simply for just the reading aspect. It really is eye-opening and enlightening. The beautifulness of this book continues. Here he talks about the structure of mathematics. He talks about equivalence problems. This is really cool. And, you know, if you know some math, um, you can relate to this quite well. You know, in, in abstract algebra, we talk about groups and how they're isomorphic to each other. You do the same thing in linear algebra with vector spaces. You do the same thing in topology with topological spaces. You have a, a homeomorphism, you know, between the topological spaces. And if it's if you have one, then you say the spaces are homeomorphic, and they share what's called topological properties. So, all of this, this this equivalence problem, is one that is a unifying thing in mathematics. So he kind of talks about how all the different math subjects are actually the same. I'm getting goosebumps talking about it. Uh, hopefully that made some sense. Uh, but yeah. Uh, he does a better job than me uh, at explaining it. Here he talks about functions, the study of functions and you know how they're important. He says, functions describe the world. Well said, Mr. Garrity. And here he talks about equivalence problems in physics, which is really, really interesting as well. Um, if you're a physics major, engineering major, any kind of science major who has to take math, I feel like this book is for you. Don't let, don't let the name fool you, right? This is not just for people who are going to grad school. I want to emphasize, right? This is really a book for everyone, not just prospective grad students. This is a book that gives you an overview of like all of math that you can learn at the undergrad level, which is awesome. Here he gives a brief summary of topics, and this is really well written. So he just goes through each one, really, really short. See, linear algebra, 
real analysis. Differentiating vector valued functions. Well, he has a whole little section on that. And then points at topology, Stokes theorem, differential forms, and Stokes theorem. He, just, he explains this quite well, by the way. He does a pretty good job. Uh, curvature for curves and surfaces, geometry, complex analysis. Oh, look at that. Going on about the Cauchy Riemann equations already. This is supposed to be the brief summary, Mr. Garrity. <laughs> oh, I love this book. Already in the brief summary, he's giving you a super clean definition of what it means for a map to be conformal. I mean, just so hardcore and pretty and elegant at the same time. Countability, algebra, Lebesgue integration, Fourier analysis. Talks a little bit about differential equations, combinatorics and probability theory, algorithms. Let's turn the page, see what's next. And that's it. So here he begins like the full treatment. Okay, so like for example, this is the section on linear algebra. He talks about the basic object, the basic map, and the basic goal. So like it really breaks it down for you in a really nice way that you can't get in other books. You know, you're not going to buy a linear algebra book and get that. You know, the, the, the linear algebra book is not going to say like, okay, this is the main idea in one little box. And then he goes through and he gives you all of the basic information you need, like all of the key things in linear algebra. Let me show you. Boom, here he talks about vector spaces and linear transformations, gives you all of the important stuff related to that. Okay, he keeps going, proves a couple things, or at least gives you the propositions, doesn't really go through the proof, gives you some definitions. I skipped a lot of it because I don't want to end up with a 30 minute video, but he explained a lot of stuff that I skipped. And then here, the key theorem of linear algebra, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then he restates it over here. I mean, just awesome. All of the important stuff you need to know in one little book on linear algebra. And there's more, right? This is just linear algebra. Uh, this book covers tons of info. So it's not something that like you can buy and like, you know, do proofs from and get better at proof writing with, but it's something you can pick up and read and kind of like increase your breadth. You know, there, there's two things in math. There, there's, there's breadth and then there's like death. So death is like, you know, learning how to write proofs, you know, being really, you know, conscientious about the details and, you know, being really good at a specific thing. And breath comes through just an exposure, a broad exposure to lots of areas of math. And that's what Garrity gives you uh, in this book, that, that broad exposure. Okay, this is written proof that I did not buy this book new because apparently someone wrote in it and that is not my handwriting. <laughs> so I thought I purchased my copy new because I couldn't find a used copy, but apparently uh, I have uh, a used copy, just kind of a random, I just noticed that, so thought I would just put it in the video. Notice at the end of the section, he gives you some books for further reading, and then he gives you some exercises, and honestly, I never did any of the exercises. Um, I just use this mainly for reading, and there's no answers to the exercises, unfortunately, either. So he gives you an overview of the subject, you know, talks about the important things, gives you some references for further reading, and gives you some exercises if you want to try them out. I mean, it's honestly the best he could do in such a little book to cover so many topics. And here again, look, epsilon delta real analysis. So he does the same thing. The basic object is the real numbers. And then, you know, uh, the basic maps are continuous and differentiable functions. And the basic goal, fundamental theorem of calculus. So he does this for every topic. Let's just briefly look at a couple other topics. This is chapter four on point set topology. So you see he does basic object, topological spaces, basic map, continuous functions. That's absolutely true. So uh, really, really, really uh, clean reading. And notice it's very wordy, like you just read it, right? There's no like, there's no computations. There's a definition, okay? Let me turn the page. And then the other person apparently who owned the book before me was working through it. Oh, they have more writing here too. <laughs> Pretty interesting stuff. Classical Stokes theorem. So the basic objects are manifolds and boundaries. Uh, the basic maps are vector valued functions on manifolds. And the basic goal is that the functions average over a boundary is the same as the derivatives average over the interior. He does a really good job uh, in this section. Here Garrity tries to give a physical interpretation of the divergence theorem. He does a pretty good job. It's, it's a tough one, but he explains it well. If you take the time to read it, um, you should be able to understand it. And then he does it here as well uh, with Stokes theorem. So he does a good job on, on explaining all of this. It takes a little bit of work to get here. And I skipped several pages. There's a lot of like background here. So it's really about uh, just getting through it. Uh, and then here he gives a sketch of the proof uh, of the divergence theorem. We just turn the page so you see it. So he goes through all of that. And there is more here. This is the section on complex analysis, the complex numbers, analytic functions. 
and the basic goal is equivalence of analytic functions. So he does a really good job with the complex numbers, and that was kind of foreshadowed at the beginning because he's notice he spent a lot of extra time talking about this uh, when he was going over the brief summary of topics. I think because maybe uh, Mr. Garrity really likes complex <laughs> analysis. That that's my opinion. I don't really know much about him, uh, but he does a really he does he does a very good job uh, with this section. Overall, this is a great book. I mean, if you're looking for a book that will give you like a solid overview of, you know, a, a lot of the topics in mathematics, a lot of the areas of math, then this is a really good choice. I don't know how much this book cost. Um, I will make sure to put a link in the description to Amazon. I know I bought my copy on Amazon, and I was so positive that I bought it new, but I know for a fact that is not my handwriting in this book, so I must have gotten it used. And my copy looks pretty good for a used copy. You know, I'm not one um, to buy, uh, you know, used paperbacks. I, I try to avoid paperbacks in general, uh, but this one I couldn't find it uh, as a hardcover. So uh, worth having though. You can lay in bed, and you can just read, you know, three pages. You, you, you lay in bed and you read about, you know, dual vector spaces and read about the books, and that'll take you. 20 minutes max, and you've learned something, like you know some stuff, it's, it's helped your life in some way. It'll open your eyes to all kinds of math that you didn't even know was out there. And I think that's what's cool about a book like this. And honestly, um, the title, I mean, it is for people who are considering going to graduate school. That, that is the point, right? He wrote this book so that people would know what they need to know for grad school. But I feel like in doing that, he created like this alternate purpose for this book. This is a book that will expose you to all kinds of amazing, beautiful math. So if you're a math major or any type of science major and you use math and you want a book that you can buy and read and learn some cool stuff, I mean, I think you should get it. I don't know if you'll be able to get it for like $10. I think this one might cost uh, a little bit more. Um, as soon as I post this video, I will go look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, share, like, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, awesome book, guys. Take care.